Hello, what's happening, social media family? Hope you guys are all well. Hey, if you are new to the Mindset Muhammad podcast, if you're new to the Mindset Muhammad ecosystem, the social media, I just want to welcome you because I realize a lot of the people that actually watch our, that listen to the podcast or watch the Mindset Muhammad YouTube channel, 50% are people that are non-subscribers. That means they're people that are new to the channel. So I want to welcome you if that's you. But if you're an existing follower, existing subscriber, I want to welcome you back to another to another podcast, right? another video. I had a very long day, but then I realized that today was a podcast day, video day. So I was like, hey, yes, we still have to put in the work, even though I have some accounting exam in the next few days. So, you know, pray for me, guys, that, you know, that, that I could. It's actually going to count for 40% of my of my exam, right? And I'm really looking forward. So I've got mock in the next few days, and then I've got the actual exam uh, in about 10 days or so. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to count for 40% of my exam, like I said. And of course, that means I got to pass, you know, whether if there's a will, there's always a way. But I want to talk to you guys about something today that honestly... You know, I was having a conversation, okay? This idea actually was, you know, it, it came from a conversation that I, was, that I was having with someone. And this person, you know, I realized that, I realized that not just with this person, but with a lot of people, when they're in a situation where something's new to them, the goal gets the determined ones and the persistent ones, they go and make it happen regardless. Then there is the majority of people, okay, who say, you know what, well, I'll take action when I know it all. Or... Or you know how they say seeing is believing? That's the biggest rubbish. Okay, if you ever hear someone say, for me to believe, I have to see, they're not cut from it. Just speak, just straight up. Okay, they don't have what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Okay, guys, do you know, okay, that Henry Ford had hired staff for six years for them to create the V8 model? Six years! And guess what? He's in Genes. Guess what they were telling you at the end of every year? Henry Ford, we don't think this is possible. And guess what he said? I'm not paying you to tell me if it's possible. I'm, t- I'm paying you, okay, to try. And guess what? One year passed by. And then guess what? Second year, end of second year, they came back to him, the managers. Stuff's working. We don't think it's possible. Guess what he said again? I'm not, pay- I'm not paying you to tell me whether it's possible or not. He said, I'm paying you to try. Guess what? Third year finished. They came to him, man, we don't think this is possible. Guess what he said once again? I'm paying you not to tell me whether it's possible or not, but rather I'm paying you to try. Then they did the fourth year, fifth year. And the sixth year, guess what? The V8 model was created, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the V8 what? The V8 model was created. Now, a lot of people ask, that mean, does that mean it was created on the sixth year or it was created on the first year? I'll tell you that it was created on the first year. Because if this man didn't had it in his head, it would have not been possible. Okay? It would have, been, it would have not been possible. Right? Now, we know the history. Okay? The rest is history. Now, why am, I, why am I mentioning to you this? Okay? The reason I'm mentioning this to you is when it comes to your personal development, when it comes to your business life, when it comes to your professional life, as well as your personal life, okay, it takes time. Okay? Anything substantial, anything worth having is not going to come easy. And whatever that comes easy, it's not worth having. It's not worth having. Right? It's not worth having, straight up. Now, this individual, as I was speaking to him, and um, he's part of my business, okay? A good friend of mine. And and I realized that he hates when people object to him, like when... When people giving objections, you know, and he hates it. And, you know, I remember I was in that position, right? I used to hate when people, you know, give me objections. But then I realized, you know, I was having a conversation with him. And I told him, hey, man, you know, you just you just got to persist and you just got to keep going. And this interview was like, nah, man, I don't think so, you know. Um, and I'm like, man, this person thinks he needs to know it all. Okay. Now, I see that in sports as well. Okay. Like, people that I know, guys, I'm telling you, they're so talented, but they have that lack of belief. They want to they, they wanna see the future before they give it an attempt, okay? Think about it. A great example that I can give you guys is, you know, there's this tree called, there's this tree that grows in the east, right? It's called the Chinese bamboo tree, okay? And this tree, imagine, okay, the people that grow Chinese bamboo tree for five years, you get water every day you have to fertilize that story every day you have to water that that seed when you're growing a you know a chinese bamboo tree 
Then guess what happens? Nine days pass by. Nothing to be seen. Nothing. Still plain soil. Plain sand. Six months pass by. Still nothing. A year passes by. Nothing to be seen. Three years pass by. Nothing. Then people start seeing you. You still doing that thing? Are you still watering that plant? Man, there's nothing. Mohammed, it's been five years. Nothing here. Hey, Aisha, what are you doing? It's been, two, it's been two months. You haven't made any money here. Right? Then guess what happens? After five years, in five weeks, it grows what? 90 feet tall. Five weeks. 90 feet tall, ladies and gentlemen. In five weeks. Five weeks, it goes running 90 feet tall. The question now becomes, did that tree grow in five weeks or in five years? The answer once again is five years. Why? Because if that farmer missed one day of not watering that plant, gone, halas, finito. So when it comes to you doing something, remember, anything worth having is not going to come easy. And anything that comes easy is not worth having. Building anything of great value Anything that's going to impact the lives of millions of people, anything that's going to change the world or impact the world on a massive scale, ain't coming easy. Develop a rhino thick skin, my friend, when you're in business, if you want to be an entrepreneur. Remember, easy come easy? Exactly. Easy come easy go. Right? Hence why I said to myself when I was getting involved in network marketing, I'm going to give this thing 10 years ago. I didn't see one or two, three years. I didn't see five years. It's been three years nearly. But I didn't see I'm going to do this thing for three years. Hey, I knew nothing about network marketing. I knew nothing about MLM. Why should I, why should I give it a deadline? Oh, you know what? Let's give it three years. If I'm not making 10 grand a month, I'm out. Oh, you know what? Let's give it, let's give it five years. If I'm not at 100 grand a month, I'm out. No. I was a teenager. What did I know about business? Nothing, my friend. And, and a lot of people come in and know, have no business background. And guess what? They want, they want to expect magic to happen in, in, in one week or one month. No. Anything worth having is not going to come easy. It takes time to build anything substantial. Hope this helps, guys. You know, share this across social media if you find value in what we're educating, empowering, and uplifting people with. Hope that makes sense, guys. God bless you all. Take care. See you on the next video.